Hi dear viewers, welcome to another interesting video tutorial over today and we're going to be reviewing question number 8 coming from the 2023 edition of mathematics ECZ internal paper 1 under the topic of calculus. The question is under the topic of calculus and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the like button and don't also forget to share to other people so that they can also enjoy this uh, YouTube channel. Don't forget to also comment to you out your views. Let's uh, try to check the question. So the question says, find an expression for dy dx over the equation y is equal to 5 over 2 minus 3x. And that is uh, carrying 3 max. We also have uh, part b. The variables x and y are related by the equation y is equal to open brackets 2x plus 1 close brackets power 4. Obtain an expression for the rate change in y as x increases from 1 to 1.02 and uh, that is carrying 6 max. Let's start with part. Uh, let's start with uh, part A, which says find an expression for dy dx of the equation y is equal to five minus uh, five over two minus three x. So with this one, we have to understand that 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 uh, value which is uh, down, that value which is uh, those two numbers. Those two terms which are down, which is 2 minus 3x, when you put them in brackets and then you take them up, the power will be down, uh, the power will be a negative. So in that case, the power is positive. The power is positive 1, but when it goes up, it will be negative 1. Like that. So. When you are dealing with a uh, dy dx, it means that uh, you are differentiating. And with differentiating, we have to we have to subtract, we have to multiply that same power to the terms which are down. So in that case, the negative one will be multiplied with 5 open brackets 2 minus 3x power negative 1 and then after you do that you have to subtract a 1 to that power so in that case it is negative it will be negative 1 minus 1 and then at the same time you also have to differentiate those terms which are in the brackets and that is 2 minus 3x. When you differentiate that, it will be, when you differentiate that, it will be, so when you differentiate uh, that 2 minus 3x, it will be negative 3. It will be negative 3. So that is how it should be. That is how it will be when you're, uh, you do the evaluation. So you have to multiply 5 multiplied with negative 1 multiplied with negative 3 and that will be positive 15. That will be positive 15 and then when you subtract negative 1 with uh, negative 1. When you subtract a negative. So when you evaluate negative 1 minus 1 it will be negative 2 and that will be like that. It will be like that. So you can uh, even take it back since we say that when it goes up, it becomes a negative. So when it goes up, the power becomes a negative. And then when it goes down, the power goes back to the positive. So therefore, dy dx is equal to 5, uh, 15 over. 2 open brackets 2 minus 3x squared.
uh, 3x close bracket squared so that is how you get marks for that question let's now go to part b which says the variables x and y are related by the equation y is equal to uh, y is equal to open brackets 2x plus 1 close brackets 4 and then it says obtain an expression for dy dx and find the, the approximate change in y as x increases from 1 to 1.02 so we are given that y is equal to open brackets 2x plus 1 close brackets form and then we have to say dy dx we have to do the same as we did to that one and it will give you like that so we have to do that one as we did to part a as we did to part a so with that one when you evaluate it will be 8 open brackets 2x plus 1 close brackets power 3 so the first thing you have to find the dy dx expression and then after you find the dy dx expression you have to replace the value from uh, the initial value of uh, x you have to replace the initial value of x and in that case the initial value of x is 1 so you have to replace 1 where there is a you have to replace x with a 1 so you have to do it like that and then after that you have to evaluate and then when you evaluate it will give you the value of 216 so therefore the dy dx is equal to 216 now since our main interest is to find the change in y the approximate change so you can uh, use this way which is dy over dx is equal to change in y over change in x so in that case we can make change in y the subject and it will be change in y is equal to dy dx over change in x so change in y is equal to dy so you have to replace where there is dy dx with that value which we find or which you found and that value is 216 the value of dy dx is 216 now we have to also find that the change in x so the change in x is equal to the final value of x minus the initial value of x so in that case the final value of x is 1.02 so it will be 1.02 minus 1 and then the initial value is 1 so when you subtract that it will give you 0 0.02 so therefore the change in x is 0 0.02 so you have to write that 0 0.02 and then when you do the calculations it will give you when you multiply 216 with uh, 0 0.02 it will give you 4. 4.32 so therefore the value of uh, change in y is equal to 4.32